So I am going to be putting my Amina Mwadis inside of a freezer. And I've done this twice already before. I know this is luxury shoe, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. These, when I got them, they were just extremely, extremely narrow. These actually did not run true to size. Even though I checked on YouTube, a lot of people said that they were true to size. I have no idea why mine weren't. I'm gonna show you how I solved that problem. So I'm gonna show you guys a clip of me trying them on. I am going to put in my left foot first. And as you can see, it's a little snug. Well, more than little, I had to put multiple fingers inside of my shoe for me to get my foot in and my right foot is a little bit less tight but you see I'm still struggling there there you go um once it's on I do have some space in the back like my heel isn't as snug but my um the front area where my toes are, especially my outer toes, really hurts. And then underneath the ball of my feet. So typically I don't wear these without stockings. I usually wear them with stockings. But um, I wanted to show you where my toes are when I put them into the shoes. As you can see from the right foot, you can see that my toes have a little bit more room because you can see that it's sticking out more but on the left foot you could only see like two of my toes the rest of them are like deep in there <laughs> and that's not what you want that means that the shoe is too tight you want to be able to see at least where four of your toes start right now I could only see three from my right foot and two on my left and so that is not okay the pumps are too tight so I did this method twice already back to back but it seems like the material is such good quality I have to restretch them every time this is a clip of when I first got them straight out of the box you see how narrow they are yeah so I stretched them out quite a bit so basically all you need for this are two ziploc bags water and a freezer. So I'm going to stuff these bags inside of the heels and add water to them while they are in the heels. It's going to be hard to put the bag of water deep inside of the shoe. So I'm going to do it while it's in the shoe. Okay, I got my faucet here, got my heels, and the Ziploc bag. So because this narrow area is where I want it to expand more I'm going to try to really stuff it in that area all the way and I'm gonna fill this up with water just be careful when you're filling up the water because you don't want it to spill inside of the shoe so I'm gonna slowly turn the sink on Can you see that? I'm not going to fill the bag up too much because I don't want it to end up not closing. Dangerous! Okay, I'm gonna close this now. Be very careful when you're zipping. There's still some space in here, so I'm gonna actually put more water. There we go. This bag is starting to like drip off of the sides. That is going to happen. So it's not a hole, it's more so like, this isn't a bag usually for liquids. This part over here you gotta be really careful with. 
I am satisfied with the amount of water that's in here now. So obviously when you put it in the freezer, it is going to expand because the water is going to turn into ice. It's definitely going to expand the width of the shoe. And this area for me especially is like a problem area. So I'm gonna make sure this area is nice and tight. Looks pretty good. So now you can see why it was better to fill the bag with water while it's inside of the shoe because it would be very difficult to get this bag filled with water and stuff it inside of the shoe all the way to where I want it to be. Um, and then also it might pop, some water might fall off, it'd be way too messy. So this is what I recommend and this has always worked for me. One shoe down, one more to go. I don't know about you, but for me, my left foot is bigger than my right. So my right foot, I mean, it's still tight and uncomfortable, but it, but my right foot feels less tighter in my right shoe. So stuff, stuff, stuff all the way. Oh, another thing, make sure that when you put the Ziploc bag inside, make sure, um, make sure the edges are perpendicular. You don't want to stuff it in like this. You don't want to stuff it in vertically because like I said, water could come out from here and from here and you don't want to ruin your shoe, <laughs> your luxury designer shoes, right? All right, so, and these are also suede. <laughs> Water is definitely dangerous. This is a very dangerous kind of experiment, but I'm so glad I did it. So these were the heels that I wore for my birthday, and when I got them, they were so tight, I could not walk in them. I couldn't even stand in them for more than three minutes. It hurt that bad. And then I actually did this two times to expand it. So. If your shoes are really tight, like these were, I would say, probably a whole size off. I don't know how they were supposed to be true to size, but honestly, it felt like I was wearing a size eight or seven and a half. So yeah, I did have to do this two nights in a row. So let's go ahead and fill this water up. Ooh. Start going slower when it, when the water starts rising because I got scared. Oh, see that? Lots of water is falling. Okay, something important. Do not have this hanging down like that because it's going to be dripping. As you can see, it's dripping. Drip again. <laughs> there you go. You just have to like do some bending. So I didn't put as much water in this one because like I said, it's tight, but it's not, it doesn't need to be expanded as much as my other one does. I'm actually gonna leave it like this because there's no room for the water to leave now. None at all. Like that. This is the best way. <laughs> it is time. So this is my freezer. I'm going to put my shoes right in here. One shoe in the freezer. So yeah. I'm about to put my shoes that cost over a thousand dollars in the freezer for a third time. Wish me luck. I love you, my bacon pumps. So it is 9.32 or 9.33. I put my shoes in the freezer 
around 10. It's going to be about 12 hours that my pumps were in the freezer. Let's take a look. There they are. As you can see, it started spilling off on the side and this is ice right here. Everything is so icy. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. It's actually never happened before. So this happened last time actually. There's actually ice on here looking like cheap plastic. It's going to dry off. There's no need to do anything with it because you don't want to ruin the material. A ball of ice right here because all of the water fell over to this side. You want to just pull it out. See how it takes the shape of a shoe? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? The side of my shoe is completely dry, so that was actually successful because I didn't accidentally spill any water into the shoe. This one actually seems to have kept in all of its water. Nothing dripped out because you can see that there's ice all the way up to here. This one seems like it's going to be a little bit harder. Ugh. Oop, I can feel it. Yep, and it's out. Success. It's kind of cool. And completely dry. Now I'm gonna try these on. Left foot first. Ooh, it's cold. Way less of a struggle. Here you can see that my pumps actually did stretch because you can see more of my toes. Earlier you could only see about two or three and now you can see at least four on both sides. And that means that there are, is more room in the front, more space for my toes to breathe. Depending on the quality of the shoe you might have to do this more than once. Um, I think because this shoe is such good quality, I had to restretch them. But let me know if you have tried this before, if you're gonna try it, and leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm.